to age or not to age, that actually is the question. How's it going? It is Dr. V, triple board certified MD and performance and longevity expert. And on this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the nine different biological hallmarks of aging. Now, you might be wondering why we age. Well, what exactly is aging? What, what is a young person versus what is an old person? We'll typically find somebody who's younger it's, tends to have more energy, right? They've got a youthful look to them. They, they, they look younger, right? So that's youth. So why do people age? What happens during that aging process? Now, if you read all the longevity books, they boil it down to nine factors that happen for aging. And that's what this video is going to cover today. So from the inside out, let's take you into the cell and all the way back out into the human organism, nine factors that determine aging. Number one, genomic instability. So we all know what DNA is, right? DNA makes RNA, makes protein, and those proteins kind of make up who we are as people. Over time, there are many things in our environment, including toxins, including how we live our lives, that could actually damage our DNA. And if that doesn't get repaired, again, the DNA is that blueprint. It makes RNA, it makes protein. And if you damage that DNA, well, then we're gonna get the wrong protein, we're gonna get the wrong signals. So if your DNA starts to become unstable, and over time, our ability to protect its stability decreases. So genomic instability is one of the hallmarks of aging. What's number two? Number two is telomere attrition. What are telomeres? Telomeres are these base pairs at the end of the DNA. Basically, they're just the end caps of our DNA that protects our DNA from aging. But over time and, and with stress, these telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter. And as they shorten, they also shorten the life of a cell. So telomere attrition is hallmark number two of aging. Hallmark number three of aging is epigenetic modification. What is epigenetics? Well, it's what we talk about in our book, Thrive State. And hey, if you haven't picked up a copy yet, go ahead and pick up a copy of thrivestatebook.com um, where I talk about how the things that we experience in life, our emotions, our thoughts, how we live our lives, how we show up every day, actually changes how our DNA is being expressed. And it does so because depending on how we live our life, we actually create an energetic system that actually starts to mix these little marks on our DNA. These are epigenetic tags. And these epigenetic tags actually tell us how old we become. So over time, with our experiences and how we live our lives, we start to add these things into our DNA, all these epigenetic tags. And that is another hallmark of aging. Number three, epigenetic tags. Number four hallmark of aging is protein instability. So as we get a little bit older, you know, proteins basically make up what we are, right? We've got collagen protein in our skin that keeps us you know, makes our skin feel nice and firm. As we start to lose that, or as the collagen breaks down, we start to get wrinkles and, and things like that. So proteins are the building blocks of who we are. Proteins are the building blocks of life. And when they start to become unstable and they don't do their job very well, well, guess what? Life doesn't go on very well. So another hallmark of aging is that proteins don't start to function very well. Protein instability, another hallmark of aging. All right, so far we've talked about the things in the nucleus when it comes to aging. Our DNA, right? Our genomic insta uh, instability. Number two, that those telomeres at the ends of the DNA. Um, and number three, we would talk about those epigenetic tags for our DNA. Then we talked about things outside of our DNA, such as the proteins, they become unstable. Now let's move to the mitochondria. Mitochondrial dysfunction is another factor of cells aging. What do the mitochondria do? Well, the mitochondria are actually the power plants of all our cells. And over time, because of free radical damage, because of how we live our lives, we could have mitochondrial dysfunction. Imagine, you know, any device that you have, you know what, you know what happens when your device, when you're low in battery in any one of those devices, it just doesn't work as well, right? The same thing happens with our cells. 
when those mitochondria don't work very well, imagine that cell not having enough energy to do what it's supposed to do. Well, guess what? That thing is going to function at a lower level. So number five hallmark of aging is mitochondrial dysfunction. So what is another hallmark of aging? Well, nutrient sensing actually becomes impaired. You know, when we are young, we are able to take in a lot of information like light, like sound, like all these nutrients that come into our body. We're able to sense protein, fats, ATP, all these nutrient sensing capabilities that allow us to be able to know what's going on in the environment. As we age, that nutrient sensing capability goes down. So poor nutrient sensing is also another hallmark of aging. The next hallmark of aging is poor intercellular communication. We are a multicellular organism. We've got lots of different cells in our own body. Then we've got tons of microbes that actually live in our body as well. And it's an intricate dance and an intricate communication of all these things happening that make us who we are. And cells have to be able to talk to each other very well. For example, if there was a virus that entered your body, once that virus gets detected, our immune system has to raise the red flag and, and, and signal to the rest of the body, hey, there is a foreign invader here. We have to mount an inflammatory response. And that communication system has to turn on and has to go right in order to save that person from that invader. So intercellular communication is so important. As we age, it seems that that communication breaks down. The next hallmark of aging is cellular senescence. That means cells are getting old. Cells are actually turning into zombies. What happens here? Well, you build up a lot of junk and these cells build up a lot of junk. They don't break down the junk and the cell can't divide anymore. And it's just sitting around, all right? They're known as zombie cells. In fact, these zombie cells actually send out signals that causes inflammation to happen. So as we age, we tend to create these cells that don't do very much anymore, but also damaging to the cells around it. That's called cellular senescence, another hallmark of aging. And the last hallmark of aging is something called stem cell attrition. You know, when babies are born, there's actually stem cells in the umbilical cord, in the Wharton's jelly, all around the blood vessels of the baby are these stem cells. We actually have these stem cells now as well. They tend to age and they will uh, go through a process of attrition, meaning they don't work as well. Why are stem cells important? Well, anytime we get injured, anytime something happens where there's inflammation or injury, well, stem cells get activated and will go to that spot of injury and they'll start the repair process. So stem cells are so important to help with that repair process. Well, unfortunately, as we age, so do our stem cells and our ability to repair itself as we age, well, that doesn't happen as well either. There you have it, the nine hallmarks of aging. So what exactly is aging? I mean, when we were very, very young as babies, our cells basically had the ability to do anything, repair against damage. It was very resilient. And over time, these nine things happen and we lose that resiliency to all the things that we happen to encounter, whether it be toxins, whether it be toxic emotions and all these things that, that, that happen to us in life. And that is really the process of aging. So again, what happens in the biological level of aging? Let's review them. The things that are within the cell nucleus, genomic instability, telomere attrition, and genetic modification. Just outside the cell, at the protein levels, proteins start to become unstable. Then you have mitochondrial dysfunction. Then we lose our ability to sense nutrients very well. Poor intercellular communication, stem cell attrition, and then also cellular senescence. These are the things biologically that happen. These are the nine hallmarks of aging. Now I tell you all these things, not to scare you, but just to let you know, these are the things that are happening that lead to aging. However, if you start to read my book, Thrive State, you'll actually know the lifestyle factors that actually put a, the brakes on any of these things actually happening. When you master your bioenergetic state, when you master your sleep, your nutrition, your movement, your stress and emotional mastery, when you start to master your relationships, your thought and your mindset, when you master your sense of purpose and, and showing up in the world like a vibrant being, you start to actually take control and avoid those nine hallmarks of aging that you see happening. 
because remember always you are your best medicine. <laughs>